फ्रेंड्स वी आर कंटिन्यूंग लेसन नंबर सेवन इंट्रोडक्शन टू एच टी एम एल चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस पी टैग एटीब्यूट्स ऑफ बॉडी टैग एंड फॉन्ट टैग फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड पी टैग पी टैग इज यूज टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू पैराग्राफ इन अ वेब पेज एंड चिल्ड्रन इट इज अ कंटेनर टैग द पैराग्राफ एंड विद स्लैश पी टैग इट हैज ए अलाइन एट्रीब्यूट वी यूज अलाइन एट्रीब्यूट टू अलाइन द पैराग्राफ to the left margin of the web page to the right margin of the web page to the center of the web page and to just align between left and right margin that is justify now we will understand how we will use p tag in html document children we will start our html document with html tag and it has it two main elements head elements and body elements so first we will write about head elements children in head elements we will give the title use p tag with the help of title tag use p tag is a title of web page children it comes on the title bar of the browser and now we will use body tag in body tag children we will use center tag and h1 tag to write internet terms we use h1 tag for the big font size and we use center tag to center align the heading internet terms and children you should take care that when you use more than one tags like two tag three tags then closing should be in a proper sequence first inner tag close then second inner tag close and at last outer tag closed that is the reason in this html document you can see that we have used center tag first and then we have used h1 tag humne internet terms ke sath two tags ka use kiya hai center tag and h1 tag and when we are closing first we will close the inner tag second number ki jo tag hai inner tag h1 ko close karenge and then we will close the outer tag center tag in case of more than two children we will just take care of the which tag is coming to the last which tag is coming to the second last third last like that and in the same way we will close inner tag close first and then we close the outer tags and children now we will use p tag with align attribute to align our first paragraph to the left side second paragraph to the center side and third paragraph to the right side and after that we will just close the body tag and finally we will close the html tag and we will save our html document with the extension .htm or .html and we will open our web page in a browser you can see that heading will come on the title bar of the browser window children and our heading is coming in the center because we have used center tag and we have used h1 tag to show as a big font size and first paragraph is a left align second is center and third is a right align with the help of align attribute so this way paragraph tag is used in html document now we will discuss body tag attributes first we will discuss about bg color children bg color attribute is used to set the background color of the web page and in bg color we give the value as a color name also we can use hexadecimal code children hexadecimal code start with hash and it has a six digits first two digits signify the amount of red color next two digits signify the amount of green color and last two digits signify the amount of blue color and with the mixing of these three colors red green and blue the color will just comes and it will just set as a background for the web page in hexadecimal code children there are 16 digits we can use any one of them 0 to 9 and a to f alphabets and how we will use suppose we have to show the solid blue color then we can use body tag space bg color attribute double code hash first two digits zero are showing for the red color next two zero are showing for the green color and we have used f two f's for the blue color that is the reason it will show solid blue 
color so this way also we can give the value to the bg color attribute next attribute is text attribute children this will change the color of the text on the web page unless we have not used font tag and any other tag agar humne koi tag use nahi ki hai text color change karne ke liye to text attribute se jo bhi color hum set karenge wo web page ke text par apply hoga now we will understand how can we use bg color attribute and text attribute children first we will just start our html document with html tag and then we will use head element head element start with head tag and ends with slash head and in this we will use title tag to give the title of our web page children title always comes on the title bar of the browser window when we when we open the web page and now we start body tag in body tag children we can use bg color attribute text attribute and other attributes also there is no sequence for it we can use any attribute first and any attribute next so first we are writing about bg color in bg color attribute children we have given the hexadecimal code for the color and now have we have use a text attribute to decide the color for the text that is white and we have used h1 tag to give the heading email now we have used a br tag to give the space between the heading and the text after that we have written a line email is a fastest way of sending messages within a second now we will close body tag and html we will save our document with dot htm or html extension and now we will open our web page in the browser you can see title is coming on the title bar of the browser window and children we have set a background color with the help of hexadecimal code and we have used text color white so by default all the text are coming in white color unless and until we will not use font tag and other tag to change the color jab tak hum koi dusri tag se text color decide nahi karenge jo bhi color text attribute se set kiya hai wo apply hoga now we will understand two more attributes of body tag top margin left margin children margin means the space between the edges of the page and content browser ke page ke edges aur content ke beech mein jo space hota hai that is called the margin and we can use top margin attribute to set the space from the top margin and content and left margin attribute is used to set the left margin between space between the left edge and the content from the left side now see we have used bg color attribute we have used text attribute we have used top margin and left margin attribute with the body tag again i'm telling you we can use attribute without any sequence any attribute can be used first any attribute can be used next and there will be no comma will come between the attributes and children now we will save the html document and we will see how it will just appear in the browser you will see that top margin is giving the space from the top side and left margin is giving the space from the left side space between the left edges and the complete content so this way we can use attributes of body tag thank you